Well, the Hamilton man accused of killing a prominent Niagara winemaker appeared in court today. This is friends, family, and members, and family members, excuse me, and colleagues of 54-year-old Paul Pender mourned the loss of the man described as one of the greats in the wine industry. Kelly Batello reports. Paul Pender was a husband, father, and grandfather. He was also a highly skilled, award-winning winemaker. Paul had, had a quiet confidence. Uh, he was innovative, he was creative. Um, he had a, a mischievous side. And, um, but more importantly, he was always available for a chat. The outpouring of love and grief being shared by those who knew him well continues to grow online. As people post photos and memories of the man who was killed on Thursday. Pender was the head winemaker at Taw's Winery. Brian Schmidt is the winemaker next door at Vineland Estates Winery and knew Pender well. We're just reeling, quite frankly. We, we can't even begin to process just what happened and, and what events would have led up to that. Pender, who lived in Grimsby, owned a cottage on Smelser's Cove Lane in Selkirk and was there last Thursday night when neighbors say a strange man knocked on his door asking for help. Somehow the situation escalated and neighbors say Pender ended up being stabbed to death on the driveway of this nearby cottage. 31-year-old Bradley House from Hamilton has been charged with second-degree murder and spoke in court virtually today from the Barton Street Jail. He has a lawyer and will be back in court again on February 22nd. No word yet on when Pender's funeral will be held, but Schmidt says Niagara winemakers are thinking of doing something special to commemorate the man's life. The Ontario wine industry, our neighbour is not our competition. Um, and we don't treat each other as competition, we treat each other as family. Uh, and Paul really got that, and so we, we've lost a member of our family. Kelly Batello, CHCH News.